I'm walking out here in the snow by Shore Road. I'm loving it. Check this out. Just imagine, in a few months, it'll be springtime. The leaves, the trees, the birds and the bees, ha <laughs> ha, be out here. I just thought I'd take me a walk. Walk about a mile. It's a little difficult to walk in the snow, especially when the wind hits you. But uh, I can use the exercise, it's a beautiful thing. I want to leave you with this one scripture just for you to reminisce, meditate, reflect on Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Here's what it says briefly Seek ye first. It's telling us to do something. It's a word of action. Don't just sit around, wait for it to fall on your lap. Don't wait for someone else to cook that spiritual meal for you. We've gone complacent. Now churches, we sit down, we wait for the pastor the worship leader or the worship team to come out and start the service and whee, the show's about to start. We got used to that. There was a time when, when the church doors opened, people ran to the altar to pray, to seek the face of God. Now it's more like a social club. I'm not complaining. I'm explaining. I want you to know. So that we can bring some changes because there's a wave, there's a shifting coming by the Spirit of God. Watch, watch, watch my lips, they're a little frozen, but I can still talk. Not by man, not by a pastor, not by a movement, not by a denomination, but by the Spirit of the Lord, there's a move, a shifting about to come. I want you to get in on it. Don't wait for it to come to you. It's about to move. You got to move with it. Get in line. Align yourself with the Holy Spirit. Did I say that? Align yourself with the Holy Spirit of the living God. Jesus says, seek. Get into action. He's your attraction. He said, look for it. Seek ye first. That's your priority. Before you do anything else, before you get into anything else, do that one thing. Seek God's kingdom. I'm going to hit some of y'all right between the eyes and the forehead with this, what I'm about to say. So it either make you or break you. See, many of us are seeking different things in the church positions. Yeah, I got to take my glasses off so I can show you the intensity and the depths of my words with my eyes. Yeah, yeah, I want that position. I like that. That's, 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 that's a good one there. A lot of fame there. I get, I get, I get famous. It's a lot of people applaud you on that position. I'm on the spotlight. Is that the way you get when you're talking no, you don't, right? But a lot of people looking for position in church. You want a position? I'll give you a position. Pick up the mop, the broom. Go clean the bathrooms. Huh? Go clean the bathroom. That's a position. You don't want that one. People looking for titles. Yeah. I want to be licensed. Oh, dang. I'm an evangelist. I'm a prophet. They're looking for those things. 
So I'm looking for a mate. Yeah, you see her? Susie Q, she fine. Oh, Susie Q may be saying, man, ah, look at him. Woo, he's got muscles on his eyebrows. He's good. It depends what you're looking for. Some people are looking for money. They won't preach. They won't come to your town and preach or to your church unless you give them so much money. It depends what you're looking for. They came looking for Jesus when Judas betrayed him. He said, I will give him a kiss. The one I kiss is the one you want. They came looking for him for the wrong reason. To falsely accuse him, arrest him, crucify him. Why are you looking for the Lord? Ask yourself. You don't have to answer me. Why am I seeking the Lord? Jesus says, seek ye first. Before you do anything else, Mr. Magoo, <laughs> Sister Cucumber, forget about all that. Seek ye first. First. Before anything else. I got a job to do. Talking to a friend the other day, we were talking about ministry and callings and positions a lot of people confused what the lord called me for what's my ministry what's my position i said you know what your ministry is you know what my ministry is? you know what every christian born again cert certified justified bona fide classified crucified in christ you know what my calling is you know what you're calling it seek the lord she didn't understand that she said huh Seek the Lord. Yeah, but we got to save the Lord. Now, seek the Lord. That's your position. That's your ministry. That's your calling. And then these other things will come. But the first thing is seek God. When God created Adam, he created him to have fellowship. You want to use that word fellowship? That's two fellows in a ship. Socialize. To hang out together. How's that one? To be together. And then Jesus came and called us back to fellowship with the Father. So before you start looking for work, because a lot of us can do the work of the Lord, but we're missing the Lord of the work. We don't seek his face. We can work, but you don't seek the Lord. You want to do both of them, like Mary and Martha. Put them both together. One was cooking up a storm. The other one was worshiping the Lord. One caught a compliment and attitude. She said, Jesus! going on with you? Mary, she's she, she worshiping you. I'm cooking. Some gotcha. Jesus says, she's doing the right thing. Martha, take it easy. Put both together. Work and worship. Worship and work. But seek first the kingdom of God. You know what that means? The kingdom of God. You say, where's the kingdom of God? I want to seek it. God's lordship, rulership, governmentship. To govern over you. To have be lord over you. To have lordship over you. To reign over us. To be our lord. To guide us. To lead us. I want to be led of the Lord. I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I want to seek first God's lordship. Kingdom. Rulership. Governmentship in my life. That's what that means. Seeking first for God to rule to be Lord, to govern your life. And then he said, these other things will be added. They'll follow you. You'll attract them. I don't know about you. I, I can't speak for you. I can speak for myself. And I hope you can get in on this. But there's been a pandemic somewhere all over the world. I just helped a young lady try to get her car out of the, uh, out of the snow. It wasn't much. I just said, here, let me help you a little. I helped her and I said, what happened? She said, what happened? We got a snowstorm. I said, you funny, you know, that's cute, that's true. We in a blizzard here in New York, maybe other places. We got a pandemic, we got all kinds of chaos in the White House. They're shooting each other, they're killing each other, they're talking about each other, tearing each other. How can you help the country when you can't even get your own house together? Remember the Bible says those that labor, labor in pain, where they try to fix the house of others, but they're laboring their own house in vain. So we got chaos all over the world, all over. And the one thing that God wants us to do is to seek him. And as you seek him, God will bless you. 
So I said, I don't know about you, but myself, I've been blessed in the middle of a pandemic, a blizzard, the White House in chaos. God has blessed me health-wise, financial, health, wealth, friends, people praying for me. I'm still doing my videos. I still do my exercise. I've been prosperous. Can you say the same thing as a child of God? Instead of complaining about stuff, can we say God has blessed me in the middle of a pandemic. The spirit of the Lord has lifted me up and has blessed me beyond measure. Now that's the truth. In the middle of a pandemic, God has blessed the church, the people of God, because there's a shifting. God is blessing us because we're going to be the ones proclaiming, declaring the gospel of Jesus Christ in these days, crucial days. So God, God has blessed us. But our job is to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness to be in right standards with God not by works not because of what we do we're in right standards with God through Jesus Christ when we've accepted Jesus made him Lord of our life that's what puts us in right standings right standards with God seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness get into Jesus you're in right stand God doesn't see Sammy D or your name whatever it is God sees Jesus in me the crucified the resurrected power of God in me and that's how he sees me righteous in Christ and then the things of this world the things I need will be added He'll add it to me. He'll bless me. Praise the Lord. Father, I'm going to leave you with that though. Father, in the name of Jesus, pray everybody listen to me right now. Father, the Holy Spirit will tell them to drop it in very souls of their feet. Bless them. Bless again, I pray in Jesus' name. Bring healing and deliverance, salvation to anyone that's in need and crying out to you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. God bless you. You take care now. Mm -mm. Let me keep walking in the snow. Check it out. Ain't it beautiful? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm.